Hello, welcome back everybody. Uh, there's my friend's cat, taking in the lovely sunshine today. So, second video. Um, so we've done the orbital sander of the top, and then we've done a manual sanding with three sanding grains, 320, uh, well, 240, 180. We, we, we took it down with the orbital sander to 120. I could have gone 180, uh, uh, not quite as vicious. Yeah. Could have gone down to 80 grit, could have even taken 40 grit, but we wanted to go gently. Yeah. So 40 grit would have really cut into it. So yeah. I guessed at one, 120. So we sanded with 120. And then I've got a holder basically that holds this abronet. So it's a square, and it, it holds it, and you can actually rub it along. So we, we did it with um, 180, that gets with the grain, so all the grains going in the same direction. Then we sanded, um, after the 180, we sanded with um, uh, 320. Yeah. Sorry, you did 120, what? then 180, then 240, and then 320. So this had quite a few few sanding stages on it, but it's now it's um, smooth as the proverbial baby's bottom. <laughs> yeah, it is beautiful. Um, just got to now sand down the, um, the, 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 the edges. Yeah. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to keep, be keeping the top of it as is, but all of the bottom from there downwards, including the draw fronts, we're going to paint in a kind of probably a chalky blue, we haven't quite settled, but chalky green would also be nice. We'll set yeah. on the colour de depending on the room it's going into. But first job is to, is to get the top done. And um, the worry was how thick this veneer was and if we could actually sand it smooth without going through it. But fortunately, it's a lovely thick veneer. Yeah. And apart from a few dinks in it, but I'm gonna remain that the, the, just give it a bit of character. I thought this was actually a massive scratch, but it's actually vein in the wood, I believe. Oh right. Um, but there are some 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 some, some bits left, but um, nothing that's gonna worry us too much. Um, don't want to be too vicious. It is an old piece of furniture. People are not gonna be upset that it's it's got. That is genuine wood vein. You can see when yeah. it comes out the centre of the knot, it goes a little bit that way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but there's other bits which are definite sort of end scratch marks. There's a there's a dink in it there. There's a nasty bit there. Um, it almost looks like that's a nail head there. So I don't want to go too vicious on it. Um, but we'll, 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 we'll just keep it there because I don't think on an old piece it having a little bit of character no. left actually hurts. It's going to go into my house. So um, like I said, it's it's more about the memories from my gran and all of that what what that represents um but i think she'll be quite happy to see it restored so carry on sanding yeah um so yeah so that was an hour's work since the first video so yeah, we um, work fast around here. yeah. <laughs> and just getting into all the grooves here has taken a long long time um but uh well worth it so yeah so when we come back um this would have been uh, all the edges would have been sanded with the um, the three grades that uh, that we're going to do it. Okay, thank you. Hope you're enjoying your Sunday. I keep forgetting what day it is. Time seems to go so fast when you're uh, enjoying doing projects like this. Beats the rat race, that's for sure. Okay, see you soon.